So they're starting to have body sex group viewing parties. I know. I love it. It's very exciting. I mean, uh, what better way to let this ripple out into the universe than having women having groups of women and their friends yeah. get together and watch yes. it. Now, yes. a couple of people had a little bumps in the road. I th- well, it's posted on the website. Yeah. One woman like call, called her friends and said, there's going to be nudity. There's going to be this. How should someone handle that? Like when you describe what they're going to be watching at the party, um, it's like a film party. Like we're watching a movie, we're drinking wine. Do we have to, do we, with our girlfriends, it's all women. You're going to be watching all women. Do we really have to do X-rated par- parental advisor? <laughs> I like what you said. Just say it's a masturbation workshop that Betty Dodson ran for 25 years. That's as all. part of the feminist That's movement. It. And anyone that gets in the room and you start to play the, the, the DVD and they go, I find that offensive. Then you they can leave the room. Pause. Stop and say, then you should leave now because don't ruin it. Don't ruin it for everyone else. So after you watch it, you should really do a circle. Same thing, like you have your own little conscious raising group. Yes. Everyone's clothed, of course, yes. but you just go around the circle and you talk about the film. And I like what you said. What stood out in your mind is one question. What really jumped? What was the most powerful thing that you saw in the last hour? And what was just, your favorite part? And just talk about yeah. it first person. So they and have to say what they thought. The, whoever is running the group, you have to have your group leader. That you don't, you 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 know how many women are in the room. You how much you have, you know how much time you have, and you want to keep keep it moving. If somebody starts to dominate the conversation, you just step in and say, "I want to make sure we get around the circle." So I'm going to move along now, Mary Lou. That um, <laughs> verably, my experience, my 25 years of experience doing this with women, <laughs> the, wo- the woman that would say, "I have nothing," I, I, you know, I pass. Three people in, she would raise her hand and say, "Could I talk now?" Now, now she. They had ready. to get warmed up. Yeah. Now well, she's... sometimes when you're sitting in a circle and it's getting closer and closer to you, you get nervous. Whereas when it passes you, and then you're like, "I'll just jump in." Yeah, but but you have to you have to signal your leader. It's you know. Don't just jump in on top of someone else. So yes, I think that this should there should be laughter and there should be joy. And as far as talking about a sexual abuse, which came up when Marisa had a viewing party and the women said, "How come they didn't talk about sexual assaults against women or sexual abuse?" The answer: You don't. What you this is? We're gathered together to discuss women's sexual pleasure. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. This is a joyous and, event. And that we all, and I, my answer is always, the society we have grown up in delivers a heap of sexual abuse. Yes. The biggest sexual abuse that's, that's perpetrated on all of us is lack of sex information and education. That's terrible. We throw our young girls out into the world with no armor, no answers, no understanding. They don't know what their genitals look like. Every one of us get thrown into the society. Well, it's general shame. You feel bad about yourself. You're we're, going... all, we're victims by, by definition. And that's the point of this film. It's empowering. So what you're going to see is positive images of female sexuality, authentic images yes. of orgasm. So this is really going to help every woman in the room, I feel. And, and if the old lady, moi uses her four-letter words or tells a dirty story. <laughs> Which might happen because well, <laughs> Just move along. Don't don't let that be a distraction because in also my experience, if they can, if a woman can find something wrong, particularly a word, you know, I listen and to... take offense. Yeah. Ralph Nader nailed it down. He said, this younger generation, you're not, you're not angry enough at what the problem is. You start picking on individual words that have to do with gender or, or, you know, sex or politically correct. So let's go to the issue. This is about keeping women uninformed about their sexuality. We stand for female sexual liberation, yes. from birth control to orgasms. That's yes. what this is about. Yes. First person sharing is the, is the heart, is the essence of consciousness raising. Which is the essence of feminism. Yes. And now maybe we can get it going again. Let's do it. All right, I, 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 I. <laughs>